I would like to show you how uh, you make a mind map in uh, the great iOS app iThoughts. iThoughts is a mind mapping app and it's the best in the App Store. Uh, at least for me. So here is um, iThoughts and to create a new mind map you go to this button. Um, this is uh, iThoughts for um, iPad. Uh, it's a universal app and no, it's not a universal app so you have to buy it for both the iPad and the iPhone. Uh, they don't look the same. It's better on the iPad but it's still great on the iPhone so I recommend to buy it on both iPhone and iPad because you can sync uh, the mind maps very easy between the devices and computers. But uh, this button opens a new dialog to create a new mind map. Uh, let's say we uh, name this one uh, I I I thoughts and I create it in the default folder called maps as you can see I could uh, also choose uh, select based upon and then I could um, create a new mind map from one of my other mind maps uh, as a template very cool uh, I can also choose another folder of course I could uh, choose an icon for this mind map we have some here to choose from let's say I choose this icon so and then I click save then it opens a <coughs> empty mind map as you can see with a start uh, node called iThoughts. So now uh, I want to do some shy nodes. Uh, you can use this button for that. These buttons. Now we click on the child node button then it opens here and uh, I type something like that So, uh, if I want to do another child node, I could click on the button we did earlier, uh, or we could also tap three times on the return button. So, if I type three times on the return button now, you see a new child node starts. So, uh, if you want to create a sibling to that child, you could hit this button. As you can see, and here we can type something else. see so let's say we are with this sibling and now we want to create um, a new child um, I could type 
three time click on three time on the return button or I could use this button no sorry this button uh, if I want to do a sibling I could use this button uh, or I could click three times on the space bar like this so now I did a new sibling um, so so now we want to create a child node I type three times on the return button as you can see a sibling to the um, uh, the former um, sibling hard to explain this in English sometimes uh, but like that now it starts to get quite long so now I want to create a new child node from the default node. I click on the default node and choose this button and a new opens. So So now we have some nodes here in this mind map. As you can see, we have two uh, shy nodes that are quite the same. Great for knowledge base, brainstorming. Uh, so now I want to create a child here <coughs> called what is it good for so uh, and then I will move this node I click on it until the um, the line disappear and then I draw it here as you can see it lights up and then release it and then a dialog opens with copy, move or merge. Then I choose move. As you can see now it's connected to the what is it good for node. And now I want to do the same with the great for a no for a knowledge base. So I click on that. I click on that so it's the line disappear and then I move it there and release and choose move so as you can see now we have two child nodes one called mind mapping and one called what is it good for so what is it good for have two siblings called brainstorming and great for a knowledge base Great for knowledge base has some siblings uh, that explains this node even more. Um, so mind mapping could also be good for brainstorming, not only I thoughts. It can also be good for knowledge base, not only. I thought so we want to use we want to create a, a connection bet between these nodes so I click on mind mapping and then I go up to this uh, link button then 
a dialog opens that says tap on a related topic mm, then I want to choose what is it good for as you can see a line connection line in red opens with arrows at the both ends uh, <clears throat> you have a icon to draw that line as you want you can release it like that for example this means that those nodes have a connection it means that they are something that is the same in between the nodes okay uh, now we want to um, change the text in this nodes, node I double click on it and choose to edit it like that so now we have a mind map called iThoughts um, iThoughts is for mind mapping and what is iThoughts good for and what is mind mapping good for it's good for brainstorming and knowledge base and much much more of course what did you think um, this is the way you can um, create mind maps very easy in iThoughts but uh, one of the greatest features in iThoughts is adding uh, sync to it uh, but before we sync before I view how to sync this mind map I would like to add um, an image to because that's kind of cool too so if I click on uh, the mind mapping node for example I can go up to this info button there and as you can see here you have icons and you have images so you can go down here and choose all the images that uh, iThoughts already have or you can choose your own images for your, from your own photo album very cool to do that but I choose um, this light bulb and as you can see it get added to the node quite big as you can see um, but as you can see this small hand if I click on that I can draw the image bigger smaller or bigger you can do it like that and you have an image to that node so now we say that this um, mind map is finished now it's time to create some cool syncing and stuff uh, we go back here then you can see our new mind map here called iThoughts uh, I have some other mind maps here uh, with a cloud on the right column that means they sync to uh, Dropbox you can also choose box but I have choose Dropbox to the cloud um, those that are blue are already synced and ready and those we know color is um, not used on any of my devices so it's clean um, but now I want to add uh, sync to our iThoughts app. Then we have this button 
iThoughts map. Uh, I click on that button, this dialog opens. Send map to cloud. That means we can choose to send it to the cloud. You can send it to camera roll as a picture. You can send it to different folders and so on. You can transfer via Wi-Fi to your computer. But send map to cloud. Here I have some cloud accounts ready. We choose my man maps connection in Dropbox. Then a dialog opens. Which formats I should sync? This is the great thing. I thoughts I want to sync because I have I thoughts on my iPhone. I could sync it as a PDF file, I could sync it as an image, OPML, a markdown, Outlook tasks, so you can input them in Outlook, um, FreeMind, very popular, Mind Manager, Nova Mind, XMind, iMind Map, Mind View Concept Roll, Mind Genius. So when I choose these formats to sync, uh, I could um, use these formats on a computer anywhere from my Dropbox account uh, and when I do changes on that computer they sync to my iThoughts app on iPhone and iPad uh, independently which format I use they sync every format I choose here that's kinda incredible really so choose folder then I can choose a folder in my um, Dropbox account I have one called MindJet because here I have a old mind maps from MindJet and then I um, use this folder this dialog opens I can upload without syncing I don't know why though upload and sync then it uploads this mind map in all those formats we choose to my Dropbox folder called MindJet. So as you can see now iThoughts have a cloud icon. Now it's synced and ready on my iPhone it's already there on my Mac is already there, at my work PC, Windows PC, it's already there. So I can work on this mind map on my Windows PC at work in FreeMind, for example. And I could work on my Mac in Mind Manager. Uh, <coughs> and I can work on it in iThoughts on my iOS devices. Kind of great. So it was a first video showing how you can do uh, mind maps in iThoughts. I will um, do some more videos later on. Okay, thanks.